Hey guys and welcome to another unboxing and overview and this I hope to be a very quick unboxing and overview because there's not much to to see. So I have here uh, not one but two kits of um, HyperX Kingston uh, DDR3 uh, memory and these are kits of 16 gigabytes each. Uh, four sticks of 8 gigabytes. Um, and let's open it up. One thing before I open it up, I was really pleased is that uh, when I make the order, I wasn't sure if there was uh, if they were going to send me the the ones with the green PCB, which is an older model, uh, or the ones with the black PCB. And I was really happy to see that I received the new ones with the black PCB that I'm going to show you at the moment. Um, so let's open it up and see. There's not much to see, it's RAM, but anyway, I would like to share with you. Uh, so here it is. It's a new HyperX Beast uh, Kingston DDR3. So this is 1600 MHz on CL9. And one thing that I would like to share with you is why did I choose these ones? Um, one of the reasons I'm using is the... Um, uh, Asus Z87 uh, expert motherboard and it's uh, gold and black color so I wanted to uh, to place a memory uh, that it didn't run out of that color so in this case black I even pondered uh, to choose the new Corsair uh, Vengeance Pro gold color but um, it's a bit too risky, <laughs> the gold color, because it would look really nice on that motherboard, which is gold and black. But uh, once I upgrade in the future, and it can be a near future, um, I don't know which motherboard I'm going to get uh, then. And the black will always be, um, will always be uh, looking better than, than, than the gold. So I've used in the past Corsair and I've used Kingston, both of them uh, very reliable and um, one of the things that I researched more was was it worth it to purchase the kit of 2400 MHz with CL11 and for the benchmarks that I've read um, the price difference and the performance is not worth it because the performance of the CL11 on 2400 MHz it's uh, pretty much the same as this kit here, 1600 MHz on CL9, which is the latency of the memory. Uh, so once I set up this on my rig, I will post some, I will make some, some benchmarks and we'll let you know how uh, these are going. But hey, pretty happy. Uh, I'm jumping from 24 gigabytes of RAM to 32 which is uh, great and I will see how this uh, will work guys thanks for watching just wanted to share with you um, the memory that I'm going to put on my uh, on my new build and um, not much of help I guess but uh, just a few pictures and my opinion about it so if you find it useful thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down and thanks for watching my name is Roberto George